So I, like a lot of people, totally forgot this movie was still a thing. I literally forgot that this movie was still a thing because of the whole thing of um, them canceling uh, this continuity and all. So I kept forgetting that this movie was coming out. And in fact, I kept forgetting that this movie was coming out this year. In fact, around Christmas time. That's an interesting move. So yeah, the Bumblebee trailer for the Transformers movie of the Bayformers universe, which no longer exists. Aye. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like I said, I totally forgot that this movie was still a thing. Um... But the interesting thing about it is that, um, yeah, I'm going. This movie, this trailer, did something to for me that I haven't been able to do for Transformers since 2007. Care about the Transformers movies? Now, again, the, it, the I'll give the Bayformers this. Their trailers at least always looked interesting. They always made their trailers look interesting, and that's how they probably got people to go see the movies, is that they always have the best trailer editors, so that might be the thing. But what I like about this trailer is just, like, it, it's so E.T. It feels like E.T. Um, I don't know, that mo opening scene where the girl meets um, Bumblebee for the first time, and Bumblebee just kind of sneaks off in the corner, um, it just has this E.T. feel to it all the way through, but with more action, you know? So, yeah. It's gonna be weird that, you know, this... It, it, and again, this movie may be in the Bayformers' uh, continuity, but it is not directed by Michael Bay. Um, yeah, I forget who's directing the movie, honestly. <laughs> I've totally forgot who's directing this movie, but yeah. If it's not Michael Bay, I'm, uh, you know, if it's not Michael Bay, I'll give it a shot. Um, I just want a, a good live-action movie from Transformers. And maybe I can get this, but I'm not holding my hopes up. I'll still, I actually, the, 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 like I said, this trailer did give me hope for a good Transformers movie. Live-action movie, that is. Excuse me, live-action movie. Because we all know what the best one is, and that one came out in the 80s. <laughs> anyway. So... What's interesting to me is that, like, this one's set in the 80s, because we're all having that 80s craze, thanks, Stranger of Things, but what I like about it is that there's more, it feels like there's more of a heart to this. It feels like it's very heartfelt, and Bumblebee actually feels kind of innocent, because, yeah, that's how he is in the mo in the TV show. He's, he's one of the most in the innocent members of the Transformers. He's the rookie, he's the kid, and I like that. Um, and I like how they're conveying that in here, and he's back to being a um, uh, Volkswagen. I like that. <laughs> also, another thing that made me happy was we get a reappearance of a certain Decepticon that hasn't been around in a while in this continuity. Starscream. Oh my god. Like, and to see him in his cup, in the, um, like the G1 slash, almost, it's almost like a mixture of how they made that, the, his, um, his design in this continuity. It almost looks like a fusion of Armada and G1. And I was like, oh, that's so cool, because I really dig his Armada Starscream. I know he's not going to be like Armada Starscream. I'm, really, I'm fully aware of that. So, yeah. Now, now, a lot of people are like, well, why is Starscream here? Well, because the movies are so, you know, it's been so long. A lot of people forgot that in this continuity, Starscream was kind of running things on Earth in this, in this continuity before Megatron um, got, was woken up in the uh, first film. So Starscream was kind of running things, and he was one of the first Decepticons out there looking for the AllSpark. So, yeah, it's going to be cool to see Starscream, like, in charge and see other Decepticons in here. We're, it looks like we're also going to get Sector 7, which I don't give a shit about. Um, I don't, I've never given a, a shit about uh, Sector 7. Give me Machination from the IDW comics. Maybe they'll actually do the Machination group um, from the IDW comics. Um, that'd be neat. So, I don't know, like, this trailer just made me go, huh. Because, again, I to and I know I'm not the only one watching, you know, if you're watching this, you're probably like, well, I forgot about this, too. Because, ever like, there was that still image last year, and I thought that was it, because, and again, the continuity was over, so I thought it was going to be scrapped, but who knows. If this movie does well, maybe they'll still do movies in this continuity. I don't want them to. I really don't. But maybe this will be the last movie, and I think that'd probably be for the best, 
just end on a high note. That's what it, this movie looks like. Uh, I'm not expecting a lot of thing of great things, but this trailer made me go, huh. Far be it from me to you know. Far be it from you to hold up to a promise that I know you can't keep at this point, Bayformers. But let's see what you got. You, like I said, the trailers. These uh, the trailer editors always should get a pay raise because they always know how to make, even if it looks like a bad movie. And again, I'm not saying this is going to be a bad movie. I'm just saying it's got a lot working against it. You know what? Uh, you know, it has got a shit ton working against it at this point. But. So far, like it's got me inter it's got me interested. And like I said, I haven't been able to do that for a Bayformers movie since what two thousand seven. Um, so I'm so I'm in. <laughs> I, uh, I'm you know I'm willing to give this one if this is going to be the end of the Bayformers. At least it looks like it may end on a hot of the Bayformers continuity. It's ending on a prequel, and it may look like it's ending on a high note. Is all I'm saying. So hopefully we can get that. So you guys tell me in the comments below, um, what did you guys think of the Bumblebee trailer? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Um, really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one, especially, because like I said, yeah, we've all been burned by this by this movie franchise so far. I mean, six movies in, fuck's sake. Um, so, but maybe this move, maybe the seventh time the charm, and maybe because it's a prequel and riding off the 80s high that we're all on. Again, thanks, Stranger Things. Um... So maybe, and sorry for the for the sniffling. I, I'm just kind of got a runny nose. I apologize. I know that's probably been annoying to hear. So again, sorry for that. But yeah, so you guys tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of uh, Bum of the Bumblebee trailer? Did you guys like it? Hate it? Uh, just comment below. Let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this. And I will see you guys later.